this computer. You can now clear the got it announcement on your screens. And we are ready for our May, is it May? Yeah, May 24th, 2022, Zoom membership meeting for Valley Photo Club. It's Tuesday, May 24th, 2022. I'm here, you are here. We must be in the right place. It's about 6.40 and we're gonna get this VPC Valley Photo Club Zoom membership meeting going after just a few words. VPC is a group that collaborates on photos, ideas, critiques, and techniques. VPC holds monthly Zoom meetings where suggestions on improving photographs are heard. We do have guest speakers from time to time and they present a short learning session on cameras, gear, and software. And by the way, if any of you have something to share with membership, please contact me. I'm looking for programs to offer the membership. So if you got something about photography or your workflow process or an upcoming uh, photo op that you would like to collaborate with other people, let, us, let, let me know and I'll let people know through the newsletter and other communication means. We're also known for going on photo walks arranged by VPC or one of the many other Facebook groups that VPC associates with. We capture images at some of LA's iconic locations. Just this past weekend, we spent the day on Melrose Avenue. We all had fun and we shared years of talent and knowledge amongst our membership. Some of us even stood in line for 45 minutes and had pinks hot dogs. Some photo ops that are coming up, there's Muscle Beach at Venice on the 30th. That's Memorial Day weekend. So there's a lot of things for a lot of people to do and choose from. That's just one of them. Uh, I'm going to be going to the Reagan Museum. That's where I'm going to be. I'm going to listen to my brother-in-law play saxophone in the Sheriff's Band. On June 4th, there's a car show. It's sponsored by the LAPD, and it's going to be at Warner Park, the same place where we have the concerts. Getty 25, they're going to celebrate Pacoima on June 25th and the 26th. Getty 25 is going to celebrate Reseda on the July 9th and July 10th. If anybody's interested in those events, let me know and we can arrange to go on a group. These groups are not necessarily big. I know there's a rise in COVID. Uh, we start out at 16 maybe, and then we'll go out in twos and threes. So it's safe and it's, it's always fun. There are still open concert dates. I can't believe that. And the one that hurts me a little bit is that on 619, that date is still open. And I'm really hoping it's because people want to be there to see the Nora Ross dedication and naming of the band shell and not work it as a photographer. But frankly, I need photographers. I'm probably going to be doing an acceptance speech for the naming of the band shell. And I'd like to have that documented. If someone out there wants to volunteer to be there, and take those pictures, I'd very much appreciate it on a personal level. Did you know that VPC requires no dues for membership? At this time, there is no plan for that to change. VPC is a not a nonprofit, 501c3. VPC is of its membership and for its membership. So thank you for those that are participating tonight. Appreciate you being here. I want to take a message to, I want to take a moment to share a message that I have shared often. And as a matter of fact, I put it in the newsletter last for this month. And because I did so, I don't think I'm gonna be repeating this in the next meetings because some of you are bored by it. I practice my photography. I know the reason I take the photos I do. I define my subject and use composition to enhance the subject. Sometimes I fail, but I keep at it. Not all my photos are tack sharp and sometimes they don't need to be. I have always been aware of the background I see through my viewfinder. I have heard of the exposure triangle, shutter speed, aperture, and ISO used in concert to achieve a proper exposure. I do not always agree about shooting perfect pictures. Maybe high key isn't appropriate or low key isn't appropriate uh, method for being creative with that particular shot. I will strive for Photoshop in the field. Yes, I am able to cut hours of time off my post-production work if I transfer files from my camera to my computer that have always been sort of a post-production in the field. 
I will do this by taking better pictures that require less cropping, less adjustments. I want to learn during the culling process. When I come home and take a thousand photos and cull them down once, maybe twice, maybe three times, to the 40, 50 keepers, I want to learn from the ones that I've rejected as well. I will examine that and learn what is lacking. I'll seldom delete those files because I'll go back to them days, weeks, and sometimes years later with fresh eyes, hopefully better production techniques to, to rescue those photos. I take photos for me. If you like them, it's a bonus because I want my photos to wow the people that see them. I want to tell a story. I want to have impact with my photos and I want to be remembered. Social media gives me a place to post my photos. That nearly immediate response I receive lets me know the difference between a winning photo and an average photo that I have taken. Never before has an audience been so large and so honest. And with that, I say tonight, we have 26 photos to view. Thank you for your entries. Are we ready to begin? Yes. We'll begin with a slideshow of all the photos that were submitted for this evening's presentation. That means I will have to share my screen. It's been a month, I forgot how to do this. So <laughs> right? Are you ready? Yeah. Can you see the red screen? Yes. One yes is all I need. You oh, wow. Oh, wow. Superman. We have a nice assortment of photos today, don't we? Yes. Awesome. Okay, we're going to begin with our first one. I know, I'm going to share. Two. It's titled City Reflected. Was this stitched? Stitched. This is uh, this is a reflection off the hood of a car in downtown LA. Okay. So you can see the the lines that are <clears throat> that are there. That's the, the back window. Oh this my is, goodness! I think this is amazing um, shot. I like all yeah. the patterns that come off at different angles. How did you find a car with clean windows? I. Love reflections, Jay. This is beautiful. 
and I just look for them. And when I find them, I take advantage. It's kind of neat that all the leading lines kind of lead you to the same place at the top. Yeah. Great. Lucky guy. That's me. Thank it's you. Like what I see when I wake up after a long night. <laughs> <laughs> That was my fourth martini. It must be lying down looking up. You got it. <laughs> this is wonderful, Lloyd. Did it spend much time in post-production? Nope. <clears throat> no, it was really it was pretty easy. I I did uh I did crop it so that it would it would just be the the reflection off the car. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> really, really nice. Thanks. And we did that with micro four thirds. Uh-huh. All right. Hear that, Terry? There's yeah, hope. yeah, yeah. There's hope for us. <laughs> yep. There's hope for us. <clears throat> Beautiful photo. Our next photo is titled Girl in Red. Lady in red. Really nice. Yeah. Love the contrast. Yeah. Yeah, I really liked it. Uh, it's a small critique, but I would have liked to see her in a in a PowerPoint rather than near dead center with her face. I like the, the color, I like the texture and uh, I know she stopped to turn around, but you can see she can go right up the stairs. Yep. Why did you choose to leave that brown part at the top? Uh, for the contrast. Okay, sure. Well, because if you cut, it's too blue. Right. It's uh, additional color, additional texture. I need to show that this is the, the wall I painted. It's not uh -huh. the wall. Yeah, makes sense. This is a blue city in Morocco, and the old walls are painted in blue. Uh -huh. So uh, this I specifically tried to use this brown top portion whenever they didn't paint. Right. The contrast. I don't know. Maybe this is not good, but this is what I was thinking. So the painter was four foot eleven. Good, good job, Leonid. It looks great, and I thank you for your explanation. Thank you. I was waiting specifically when she will turn around. I have several pictures from her back, and uh, then she looked at I'm taking picture, and she turned around. And... Got you. Yeah, this is one case where, you know, having a person look at the lens is perfect. Yeah. So it's often it, it doesn't seem to, to work, but this, this is great. Yeah, and the, wall, and the wall are starting like it's a turning point. The wall is going inside. Did you yeah. think about cropping the bottom so that the girl who's the subject of the photo was a little larger in the frame? Yeah, I was thinking, but no, I wanted this step to show this is a, the line to go to her. The steps are going toward the top of the building. The top of I agree. The building. I agree. I like it, uh, the choices that you have made. I mean, if you're doing specifically portrait or anything, it's fine. But this was not a portrait. It was a... Right. You just happened to turn around and you got her. Great shot. Our next photo is titled Inside World. I watched that TV show a couple seasons ago, Under the Dome. One thing that stands out to me is that uh, that bright white is a little harsh, but the, the, the whole image as a whole is amazing. Amazing, great, great color. 
the reds, the greens, the yellows, Birds. cloud reflection, oh. the lights on the building. It's just, it's extraordinary. That is the bean of Chicago. That oh, cool. Fun. That's a great eye. That's a great reflecting orb. No, oh, I'll say. Another person brings Windex with them when they go out and shoot. <laughs> we are so lucky to find something so clean and reflective. Did you try to make it horizontal or no? Did it work or no? No, I just, I just like the, the, it, it, this is not straight uh, horizontal. It, I just like the, the angle. Yeah, I like this too. I only wonder if you tried this. At... Okay. I have some that like, like, like vertical or horizontal, but I just like the, the, uh, the diagonal. Wonderful choice. What were you shooting off of? What, what I would do in the bottom corner, this light, it, you can take it away. And the will be... Bottom right or bottom left? Yeah, bottom light on the right corner, right bottom. Yeah. The light, if you're taking this away, it will be, the, your eyes is going over there because it's dark and you're looking at this light and this light doesn't do anything. Good point. All right. On the right, bottom, corner, bottom on the right, right. corner, on the bottom, it's two lines of the light. Yeah. 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 Like, I look. never need, I never noticed it until you mentioned it. Well, there's a bright spot on the left too. If you cropped it up, you, you get them all. You don't have to even crop, you can uh, oh. close. I mean, it's very easy to yeah, use the paintbrush to, or clone it. Yeah, but it's okay. You this could do that, but it, it works, it it works this way. Work. It works this way. Yeah. You could do that. All right. Of course, I, I'm nobody, but it didn't bother me at all. You're not nobody. Give us a break. Well, you know what I mean. No. <laughs> Our next photo is titled Looking Up. <laughs> Bird, it's plane. No, it's Superman. It's Superman. <laughs> oh, it's going someone there. in tights. I think it's really well processed. There's a uh, the gradient goes from almost a pure white to a, almost a pure right. black. Thank you. Uh, yeah. uh, Got to be careful if there's pigeons. And it also tells a really interesting story. Because you wonder what they're looking at. And that's, that is enticing. Yeah. Well, I don't want to give a spoiler here, but it was the... Uh, the sunroof in the building, on the windows in the building on the sunroof. ceiling. It was the what? It's the Bradbury building. It's uh, there's a glass uh, area on the ceiling. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's very beautifully patterned. So I, I I think the light coming down from there is what is what for me makes the picture. Yeah, yeah, the lighting is great. I was under the impression the Bradbury building you had to have an appointment to go in. Someone with had told me. You can't yeah, climb. You can't know. climb beyond the first stairs. This also was a good five or six years ago. So yeah. did this? Did this build? Did this spend a lot of time in post? Uh, not really. No. Okay. And you shot it in color and chose to make it black and white. Yes. Good choice. Yeah. Yeah. Textures are marvelous. It's a little bit of warm tone. Yeah, it has that high key look. And if it was cropped, it's cropped in all the right places. It's just beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, nicely done. Thanks. Manhattan Beach Sunset. Oh, boy. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Love it. Very nice. Yeah. Long exposure. Very nice. How long an exposure was it? 30 seconds? It wasn't a long exposure. It was post. <laughs> it it was, what? I did it with Photoshop. Oh. Oh, cheater. So I remember, <laughs> I remember I, who you're looking at here. This is. <laughs> it's I, beautiful, Helene. 
Thank you. Yeah. I saw well, it on well, um, it. It's a one of the face, I saw it on one of the Facebook groups, photo tricks and something or other. And yeah. I've been trying it. And uh it, I I did it with the whole picture except for the pier. I went back yeah. and you know kept that mostly just as it was. Yeah. Cool. Well, it's yeah. hard because it has all those arches yeah. that this I have. is one this is one photo that you don't mind. The fact that the top half and the bottom half are equal. Well, good. Thank you. The symmetry works. It's a good work. Very yeah. good. Very, very good. You hear me, Helene? I'm saying it. Very, very good. Thank you, Jay. Enjoy this a lot. So how many mushrooms did you eat before you worked on this? Uh, you know what? I've been, I, I went to Manhattan Beach Pier twice for different uh photo walks with this guy uh -huh. and most of the people on the walk live there or just close by and i see them posting beautiful sunsets all the time and for me it's what an hour or more drive to get there and i went alone both times and if you can see the little pink thing right on the horizon that was most of the sunset that we got to look. Mm -hmm. it, it, it did come a little bit brighter colors after mm -hmm. a while, but it didn't look nearly as sunsetty as this picture does. Mm. Well, the, the way you've lit the Rosie's place there on the pier, <clears throat> it, it, you know, in, in uh, relation to everything else, it's perfect. Oh, well, thank you. I'm, yeah. I'm learning something. So thank you. You're welcome. Very nicely done. Our next titled photo is Monks Chatting in a Pagoda. I'm sorry, not chatting, chanting. Oh. Chanting, <laughs> chanting with a pagoda? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, the, the that's, that's better than the title she gave it. You know the, the colors. The colors are beautiful. And the colors are beautiful. The monks are. I like everything. But I took a similar shot, and what the judge judge really dinged me on was the fact that I didn't show enough of their faces. Um, it's that's a matter of choice. I think this works, but I think if you'd moved to your right, if you could have, it might have been a little more powerful image. Did you submit it to the Orange County Fair? No, maybe he's not here. Okay. Person who took the photo is not here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at chatting, not chanting. I'm, you know, I'm confused because it is spelled with an N here, chanting. It's all right. I'm now looking at the fans, the floor fans that I'm seeing in the photograph. I didn't see them the first time. Yeah, okay, keep cool. There's two floor fans there. I like I like uh, Terry's <laughs> idea of moving a little bit to the right. Yeah, it's unfortunate that the the, the the subject that's standing is behind the fan. Exactly. Yeah. He's no fan of mine. <laughs> <laughs> You're gay blade. We're going to go on to the next photo titled Mustard Meadow. That looks like um, one of the parks I go to quite often. Is that in Lancaster? Charles Lake, Santa Clarita. That's what I was thinking up in Santa Clarita. What Santa Clarita? Charles Lake Canyon. Oh, it's very beautiful. I like the, I like the patterning, how it starts on the well, left corner and goes up and then there's another above it and then it goes to the left and then it goes up on the right the only criticism i have is i'm not sure where my eye ends up still alongside your nose yeah well you know <laughs> what i mean and lots of lots of cool triangles leading lines that take you different places and to me it takes me to the rock outcropping yeah, and, and finishes with uh, you know looking at the at the pretty sky. Yeah, it's a very nice photo. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. 
and I hate to say it, but I yeah. look at it and it's beautiful. And I, in, in the back of my mind, I keep thinking, oh, it's more fire fuel. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's what I'm Nasty I mustard that's invasive too. Yeah. But it's a beautiful shot while it's there. About five years ago, there was a fire here and uh, the following uh, winter, it rained. And because of that, we had lupins for a good 30 minute walk. I thought I was in the Al Alpine mountains. It was just amazing. Yeah. Wow. And this entire area would have been purple. In April um, and March, we actually had a lot of uh, lupins there, those little purple flowers. Oh. But the fire just really brings them out. So um, I was amazed that I got this much color. I figured this is going to be about the last one this year because we had clouds, you know, last week. So did this spend oh. time in post production? Uh, very little, really. There's a tweak here and there with the luminance. I'm, I'm... Oh, yeah. Just, yeah. You know, I like what that, you did with this guy. Is that Linda? Yeah. If a, a, a vignette in Lightroom, this a, a, a light vignette might bring it in a little tight, you know, a, a little bit. Yeah, that's a good idea. You know, just a little. Yeah. Did you crouch down to take the picture? Um, I actually think I did here, yes. But it's cool the way the flowers in the front are are nice and big and and it it just goes to infinity you chose a very good spot the point of view is excellent I, i'm really enjoying that it takes you out is that the iphone again um on this one oh please don't say it uh even guess i actually think it was i haven't looked at the ones on my camera yet sorry <laughs> Nothing wrong with it, Linda. I'm just, I, you know, I know you've you've done some amazing shots with the iPhone, and yeah, you just have you have a great eye. I'm oh, I'm amazed at at. Uh, in fact, when I was here, oh, actually, you know what? I didn't take this with my camera because the battery went bad. Um, I have a problem with the Mark One with the batteries not lasting a long time, which is kind of frustrating. My night they last longer when you don't turn the camera on. I have a, uh, I have the Mark II, and I carry three batteries with me. Yes. Five years will do it. My Nikon's the batteries would last forever. I, I'm just that's mm -hmm. my only disappointment with that Mark One. But, but um, are you using Live View? Um, Live View will drain it. Live View will drain it. I rarely, rarely I use Live View. Yeah. Okay. What is Live View? The difference of dead view. Uh, it's uh, using well, the back of the camera. Oh, I, I was wondering because on my camera, I mostly use that. I hardly ever look at the viewfinder. And I, I leave my camera on uh, forever. It shuts off by itself after so much. I mean, at first it goes to sleep and then it will turn off. But I leave it open all the time. Okay. Well, yes. better battery. I hope. What? Our next photo is titled Oh So Rosy. Nice. It's been done before. This is beautiful. And yeah, it's all about it's all about pattern. The specimen is perfect. I think it's really oh, nice that it's the soft focus is really nice. Yeah, it's Lighting. by any other name, it's still rosy. Mm. I can oh, smell yeah. this one. This is good. It's a good picture. <laughs> Uh, that looks... Thank you. Yep, that's a if rose. This is, if this isn't a crop, you got everything in perfect in camera because it just touches the edges on the sides. Yeah. No, it's it's not a crop. I um I got it where I zoomed in on the rose specifically in that shape. Yeah, it's it's uh it's it's perfect. Thank you. Nicely done. Great picture. Any time in post? No, not much. Because red is a difficult to... color for a lot of cameras. 
Well, it's interesting because I had taken different um, shots, slightly different angles, because I was taking this picture while my friend was driving. So I was holding the stem and zooming into the um, oh, to the rose with the ca- with the camera. And so the different shots and different angles did have different shades in post, but mm-hmm. this one was like the better of them, just the oh, crop yeah. and the composition and everything I liked. That's that's nicely done at 60 miles an hour. Wow, nicely done. Very nice. The next photo is titled Prickle and Tickle. <laughs> That'll bring tears to your eyes. It looks like a painting. It looks like a sur- surrealist painting. Abstract, yeah. Yeah. No, we're still in the category that is not abstract. Nice and sharp. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like it. I've taken uh, pictures like that, and sometimes I also will get a good one. But a lot of times, depending on your setting, mm. you have one little piece in focus and the rest is, is totally blurred. Yeah. I, I really like this. I like the three colors. Yeah, me too. Green, the I like white, the, and the brown. I like, the, I like the spikes. I like the spikes to add a different pattern to it. Yeah, the spikes can give you goosebumps. I mean, I can feel it. Ah. Give you more than goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> no, but goosebumps is when you get the, the, the thought of it. Ah. I like I like those four or five spikes on the left hand border there. They're they're just the crop is good there. I like that. Yeah, and and I also like that the I think the main focus is just left of center yeah definitely yeah yeah i I want to have taken that picture next photo i got to take a breath to say this title relative space relatively spaced from la Say that again. Ooh. Relative space, relatively spaced from LA. It makes total sense now. The title really is golden for the presentation of photographs. The gorgeous picture. Very cool. With the road goes, wow. Exquisite. Yeah. Point of view is beyond. I mean, the red car is a bonus. Yeah. It's just, say that. just wonderful. Where, wonderful. Is it, where is this place? Relatively Glendale. close space to LA. Reseda. Reseda? Wow. No. It's no. A- who, who said it's Reseda? It actually looks like a cemetery. Where is this? Oh, looks like Clinton. Isn't that the Rose Hill in, on 605? Uh, it's Rose Hill. Ah. Rose Hill. Yeah, that's what I thought, Rose Hill. Yeah. Well, I've knowing been- uh, uh, Gina, she do a lot of uh, work around that place, Rose Hill. So I assuming it's Rose Hill. Yeah, I've been there before, so <laughs> it looks familiar. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Even the watermark's the right color. A nice photo. Deanna, are you gonna talk? I think she uh, oh, is she, in another she, meeting. That's I right. Think Deanna she is here, but she meeting. has a board right. meeting. I gotta remember to ask her some things about it. She Bring said she'll time. try to come back when that meeting is over. She will. Right. Our next photo is titled Tubular. Far out, man. Is this, the, is this the CSUN ceiling? What did you say? Is this the ceiling at CSUN? Oh, no. This is at the uh, Las Vegas Convention Center. 
Oh. Yes, indeed. All right. Nicely done. You caught a good pattern there. Yeah. I really like it. Thanks. Uh, uh, where the beams come together, that black area really adds a lot. I think if that wasn't there, it would be, it wouldn't be as uh, it, it uh, interesting. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Boring. Nice. Yeah. Well, I was wondering about that. <clears throat> no, that's what makes it for me. Nice work, Jason. Those, those intersections are very, very well placed. Yeah color and everything. Yeah, I find myself studying this a lot. You know, it's there's a lot to notice, there's a lot to see. Take in. Yeah. Right. Mm. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about the uh, horizontal? Uh, you know, the uh, the angle, the alignment. I wasn't I wasn't exactly sure. So uh, I just lined up horizontal with the top with the top beam. It's a perfect. I think you made a good choice. Line. Yeah, I, I think you did too. I don't think it matters, Jason. I mean, for the type of work, it doesn't really matter. Actually, I, it's kind of that the top bar is kind of distracting, though. It's kind of bright. Yeah. yeah. It's toned down. A little bit distracting. All you need is a, a gradient. I think that would have helped. I think this will look right. good portrait too. And Jason, I didn't, I didn't post this one upside down, did I? Uh, no. It's, I think it's it would look good portrait. I like the way it, 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 um, it, it has all the angles. And then as you move to that bottom left corner, they become zigzags. Right, yeah. right, right there. Yeah. It, it, um, yeah. So, yep. I like that. It's really nice. No, 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 don't do that. No, that's interesting. No. It's interesting. No, it's boring. Get back to original is better. That's kind of cool. Original is better. I don't think nah, so. Yeah. What yeah. happens if you were to crop it down a little bit? Yeah, because the... Uh, on the on the angle, except the the top part, it's just straight. Yeah. You know, it's just kind of like weird. Pattern. It break up the pattern. Next photo entry is titled "Venice Skateboarder." Wow. Nice. Cool. Uh, Hack shot. Nice. iPhone? Huh. No. Too Brownie much. systematic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 110. Did you add the tattoo to his chest? No, I did not. <laughs> Great job, Ellen. Yeah, Thank you. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. I you. like how the participants in the back watching are not sharp. Look at those. Uh, he's a center of interest. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It's a great sports picture. Thank you. Yep. yep. Right place, right time. That's right. Right settings. Yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, uh, when was the photo taken? This was a few years ago. Okay, I've I've uh, I've been there a few times, and I've never noticed the tile off of the pool. You've never noticed oh the tile. Yeah, I've never noticed this before. Huh? Yeah, this was uh, um. Got easily three or four years by now. So I don't even know if it's still there, to tell you the truth. It, well, 
Is this the yeah. walk we did a long time ago with, well, no, because we did one with COVID and everybody was, wasn't wearing masks, so we blew out of there pretty quickly. <laughs> no, this was, there was an actual music festival okay. right next door. So we did the skateboarding and then we did the festival and then we came back and did more skateboarding. So it would just, cool. um, just kind of worked out. I think the lighting is really good because it could have totally blacked out his face and part of his body, but it's bright enough and without being too bright. I think it's great. Right exposure, right place. Composition is good. Thank you very much. Next photo is titled Zorky for Memories. Oh boy. Oh, I remember that one. I don't. I have no idea what I'm looking at. This is a Russian camera. camera. The camera. Russian. Uh, Range finder. Zorky, yes. I had the camera in my youth. And it's reflected in mirror. Yes. Yep. Was the context? What? That a no, it's, it's, it's called the Yorkie. It's the a Yorkie. 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 Where is it from? Yeah, New Yorkie. Yorkie. New York, Yorkie. It's a Yorkie yeah. four. Good eyes to see something. Zor uh, it's just Zorky. Isn't a Yorkie a dog or something? No? It's a Zorky. <laughs> Zorky four. So were there three before this? Um, they were lost. Most likely. Three different models before this. Okay. It's like 18 COVIDs. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so this camera, okay. I think, has at least a hundred. Sorry, it has at least uh about is is at least 35 years old, if not more than that. Like, it's, like, uh, it, uh, it's more than that. Much more than that. Yeah. This is la la. Uh, this is 70s, mean, 80s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Zorky is mean vigilant, keen eye. I'm glad you told us I'm writing that down. And the photograph's well done. I like the camera. Oh, thank you. So uh, it uh, used to belong to my dad. I just found it uh, last year. So the Zer Zerky 4 is a 35 millimeter rangefinder camera manufactured in Russia, produced between yep. 1956 and 1973. Zorki means sharp sight. Zorki is villain or king's keen eyes. The most popular of all Zorki cameras was the Zorki 4. It was the first Zorki camera to be exported in very large numbers to the West. The I range can, finder I was can introduced this is from 1956. Mm. This, camera, this camera is 65 years old or more. I mean, this particular one must be, I think my dad would have got it in the 70s or 80s. But mm. um, yeah, it's possible that they, they were making them before. I had this in 70s. 1870s? The last model. No, 1970s, a... come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last uh, model of jockey, the number four. They stopped. And uh, the optic was pretty much, uh, they took over the um, guys, uh, uh, optics in uh, East Germany after the war. So on the tooling, everything, they got moved to Russia, to Russia. And uh, that, uh, the design is part of the own guys thing. Uh, they, produ they produce this in Kiel, this yeah. lasers in the optic, and uh, they have this. The, they brought the whole says uh, pr procedure. This is exactly the same like the says lenses. This, whatever it's called, it's it's a it's, it's like German lenses. It reminds me of Zeiss contacts. Yes, because they are. Uh... 
after the war, the, the Russian actually took, I mean, shut down the guys um, manufacturer in uh, because it, Jai was sit in East Germany mm -hmm. and uh, Laika was sit in West Germany. So Rus Russian would took over the whole, I mean, shut down the whole thing and move on equipment to Kiev. Yeah, we have a special factory, it's called Arsenal. Yes. Arsenal? That, uh, Doesn't sound too good. Then they produced much better camera. It was a Kiev, and the Kiev yeah. was even very popular in uh, in the West. Okay, this right. photo is the end of our open category entries, and that means that the next several photos, fourteen through twenty-six, are all of uh, abstract. So maybe we should just try a little bit of a guessing game when there's one that's really abstract. I'd like I'd like to do that. Go ahead. Sure. Our next photo is one over 40. I'll get there. <laughs> oh, one over 40. I oh. think it looks like looks like taken out of a car of a, a, a rail on a highway or something like that. Yeah. Our set is speed at one over 40. 41 so, miles per hour, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's literal. That's me. One Terry, over 40. Terry, Terry guessed right. It's uh, taken out of the window of a car. And that uh, one, one over 40 is the shutter speed. Ah, 140. Okay. Yeah. Are you? That's really like about a hundred steady shot. I like the yellow at the bottom because that's like the lane marker. Before after the crash. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Thanks, Jason. I like it. Thanks. Next one is called abstract color. Oh fun. That looks like my blood test. <laughs> uh, it's called uh, abstract red balls. Is that Westfield Mall? Oh, forgive me. Seriously? Abstract red balls? That's cool. Yes. Yes. Forgive me. I read out of order. It happens every now and then. I, I like the red balls and the white. I like the lady yeah. who's got her foot way up in the air, her other leg <laughs> bent. I think it's great. <laughs> LA. And she's got her red purse too. I know mm -hmm. Helene would take this person out of the photo right here. This is Neyman Marcos. Probably. Yeah. So this way I took a picture. Mm -hmm. Nice. Where is this? I like the composition. Oh, I have an I have an ordering issue. I'm sorry. This is took in the store Neyman Marcos in Beverly Hills. Oh. Say that again. Name and mark was Beverly Hills. Oh, Beverly Hills. Okay. Oh, inside the store. No wonder I don't recognize it. They let you yeah. in there with a camera. I can't get past Rosita. <laughs> Smartphone. <laughs> oh, what the hell happened? Smartphone. No, 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 no. It was a camera. <laughs> it, it was a long time ago. I didn't have smartphone at that time. Yorkie one. <laughs> yeah. The color model. Yeah. The next photo is actually named abstract color. Good grief, I hope so. No, it's not. <sighs> this photo is named gray. It's carpeting. This photo is named Gray. Yeah, I don't know. You can call him Gray. What has happened to? I'm going to have to. Uh, named abstract. Yeah, I, I trust me. It's named Gray. I argued with the person over the naming, and it's never mind. It's Gray. <laughs> That's why all my photos are out of water now. 
Kind of cool. It is cool. I was hoping that titling would help us figure out what it is. And I think Terry nailed it. I think it's carpeting that's been pulled up. No, it doesn't look like carpeting. It looks like soil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just sand. Sand? Brown sand? Looks like sand. Maybe it's a beach. Like tire tracks or something. Oh. I'll have to find out what it is. Yay, Deanna. Hey, Deanna, welcome back. We needed you. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is. On to the next photo, whose title will be known as soon as we see it. Abstract color. <laughs> yes. Well done. Looks kind of rare. It yeah. looks like it's a reflection off a hood or something like that. Well, the, wind, uh, the windshield of the car? Yeah, they didn't have any windshield. Wait a minute, wait a minute. How about going through a car wash? That's what it is. Out of one, well, I took like six shots all together and mm -hmm. I got so many different pictures out of it. I couldn't believe it. I was really blown away. I take pictures in the car wash all the time, but I loved yeah. the ones I got this time. Yeah, I like That's it. really cool. That'll, I, teach, that'll teach you to always buy the wax. I did it <laughs> one time, I, I did a video and I, I was going through uh, about a week ago and I thought I should take something, but I thought, no, I've already done it. Well, next time I'm gonna take still pictures. Thank you. What part of the car are we looking at though? Cause I'm, has to be it's the so front. abstract. I'm just looking out the window and you know, all those brushes and the lights and all these things are coming at you Why? why I was in the car itself. Oh, that's cool. Huh? Okay, good for you. So, but usually, I mean, really, I do take them all the time in the car wash, but the, uh, this whole batch was just really great. I was just had a lot of fun with it. So, is this we know how you spend your free time? Is this a crop? <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely a crop. Okay. <laughs> What are you doing? Cell it's phone? not a perfect composition. Um, this was with a cell phone, yes. Oh, God. <laughs> of course. Ladies' day on Wednesdays? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Extra. <laughs> Special discount, Linda. Linda's yep. discount. Drop her name, get a free car wash. There you go. <laughs> Nicely done. Well, thank you. Our next photo is all together now. Bubble space. Oh, cool. Bubble yeah. space. I like it. It almost looks like yeah, it's in space. Like now, what you... is it? Looks I'm like going to say uh, <laughs> the layers are pretty cool. It was a little toy with oil and water, like little, little, little toy for, for the kids. Yeah. Yeah, and I found the bubbles and uh, it's kind of kind of interesting. So I, I shoot it. It's a mic. It's a micro. You put food yeah. color in it and you get even more colors in it. That <laughs> was just I just had a toy in my hand. So like, hey, this this makes a good photo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. In really space, cool. you can't hear anybody scream, but you can blow bubbles. <laughs> so so oh. you have the, the yellowish color and then you have the transparent bubbles. What's that background, the dark with all the spots? Oh, it's probably the plastic uh, and the, the outside plastic of the don't toy. Don't, don't get it. Oh. Lay down. Oh, so it's like a clear plastic toy with the bubbles inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. You're Ooh, a lot of fun. That. Bubble girl. <laughs> <laughs> glass of club soda. Next time yeah. I go to my, see my granddaughters, I'm going to tell them, go play by yourself. I need to play with your toys. Yeah, go outside. There's a glass of club soda at a really bad restaurant. Yeah. You can tell that that was washed. Very cool. Next photo. 
Chicago Lynx. Nice. We know where this came from, even though you don't you have your name on there. But you don't know where I took it. Helene In does. Chicago, maybe? Chicago. Mm -hmm. Helene knows. No, I don't this know. Was the day, this was the day we went to the Korean Bell. Oh. This was on the beach. No, how would I remember that? You were there. <laughs> oh. oh, was it that the big kind of sculpture stuff? Yeah, this is when I needed to clean my sensor. So oh, the sensor dust. Yeah, I do remember now, but that's really okay. cool. But from the picture, you can't tell how big, how small. So I would. These links were huge. Yeah, I, I well, I remember now, but ju not just from looking at the picture. Very. When cool. it says Chicago, was well, big enough to let these other ones go through it. These were huge, huge chain links. Oh. A lot of rust. I do really like well. your your uh, rusted chains. I I have an admiration for such things, uh, so I do like your photos of these. You like the chains, Thank you. Jay, what's the pink background? Was that? I don't know. I think it's. I think it might be you standing in the background. <laughs> and I look lovely. You look lovely. I don't know where that came from. Without the. I do dust. see my sensor dust all over the place. Hmm. The next photo. <laughs> Glow flow. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. And if anyone ever wants to go, they do it on Wednesday nights. What do they do? Is that a bar or? No, so more. This, these are electronic hula hoops. And oh. people oh. spin them and you do long exposures. And what's really cool is that the patterns on the hula hoops change. And that's what creates this really cool effect. Tripod allowed? Yes. Cool. Yeah, because you do, almost do very long exposure, so you definitely yeah, yeah. almost necessarily need tripod. Yes, that's like Perfect. spirograph in 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 yeah. life or something. Those are really cool images. Where is it? Uh, Venice. Venice. Okay. Wednesday night, five thirty. Well done. Although yeah, thank you, until it gets dark. You go to all the cool places, Ellen. <laughs> I try. Where, where's the fire? I'm sorry? Where's the fire? <laughs> well, the fire is also on Wednesday nights. So like a few weeks ago, we did this and then we went to the fire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is a recent photo. This is one of the funnest shoots I've ever done. I didn't go with Ellen this time, but I've gone in the past and it was it was amazing what you can get. And every every click is going to be different because it's going to be a different mm -hmm. snippet of whatever okay. they're doing. And there are a bunch of people More. that are doing the hula hoop. So you just pick a person and you set up your tripod and, and shoot them. That's a recent photo? Um, I think this was last year. Can you put the location in the chat maybe? And then also... Can you imagine doing hula hoop sure. now? <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. No. <laughs> oh, you're stuck. I'll... These oh. hula hoops cost something like $350. It's amazing. They're right. programmable. Sorry. Some, when it spins, they Hold have on. On. Uh, oh. pictures or sayings, you know, actual words. It's uh, oh, that hurt. one of the most fun things. Let's see. Really cool to see. Oh, let go. I can't, I can't you believe it. You can rent or you can buy a hula hoop. Yeah, exactly. There's the person who's in the middle of it. You just don't see it? Or is it around a pole or something? You, you can see it. You just don't see it because it's dark. And there's movement. Oh, you know, wearing dark clothing. Oh. <laughs> Very cool. The, the times that I've done it, there are a couple pictures you can yeah, actually no. see like a, a ghostly dark figure in the middle, which some of them are kind of cool. Lay down. But uh, I'm um, kind of like a ghostly dark figure in the middle. Huh? 
What'd you I say? am kind of like that. A ghostly <laughs> dark figure in the middle. <laughs> so you the, next, the next one is titled Just a Little KG. Ah. Oh. I like. Cute. That's fun picture. What is it? A it's KG. one of those wooden purses just turned onto the side. Wooden purse. Oh, goodness. No. I don't suppose you can keep your change in there very well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you should have like a little um, <clears throat> change person, then you'll be fine. <laughs> I think you need a purse inside this one. Dollar, okay. well, yeah. It's a purse with pocket lint. I like the depth of field. Where it's, yeah. it's in focus along the curve. Thank you. Yeah, just... I did. I, I took a couple of images, and this was the sharpest where the, um, the ones closest to me were in focus as opposed to the ones behind, because some of right. my pictures had the reverse effect. The intersections are great. It's These fun. intersections right here are fantastic. You can see the freckles on them. It's really nice. Yeah. Well, all the lines are interesting and in that there's different color in each piece of wood. Bamboo, right? I believe so. What's the white fluff? That I didn't there. notice until afterwards, but I think it's probably one of those dandelion things. Uh, that looks like a seed. Dandelion clock. They're called clocks. Or an alien. I go with alien. Pocket lint. <laughs> Way more fun. Our next photo. I'm not going to even take a chance here. Koi. Koi. <laughs> Don't be so coy. Let me guess, are these coy? Yeah. I really like this. Beautifully abstract. I like it. I it's like it. I love lot. the colors. Very nice. You should ask to put this in a restaurant. Frame it up, put it in some restaurant. A sushi restaurant. Good. Yeah. yeah. I don't a lot think of post production enjoy, here or not? Is that? A lot of post-production here or not? No, not much at all. Huh? Just, uh, uh, you know, making oh. sure that the, the black and the white points were, you know, were there. And uh, and then just, uh, I think there was a, a, a little bit of crop it, cropping for it. I made it a four by six from the seven by five. Nicely done. It was just a slow shutter speed. Yep. On purpose. Mistake or intentional? Oh, very much intentional. I I uh, I saw these really wonderfully colored fish. I think I think they're at the uh, uh, that that garden in Thousand Oaks. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I can't Captain remember. Garden? No, it's it's gardens uh, of the world. Gardens of the world, oh, right? Yeah. I think that's where I shot it. And, yeah, yeah, very familiar. And I did a bunch of them that were with a faster shutter speed, but I wanted to. Um, I was hoping to be able to catch this kind of motion. You had a vision. I you had a vision, and it was intentional. I certainly wasn't implying otherwise. Did you feed uh, them first? <laughs> no, no. Did I feed them? No. No, they were uh, they were just having a party. They saw me, and they come they they come right over to you know hopefully eat. And uh, I didn't bring anything for them. I just shot them. <laughs> but I really love I really love the textures of of the of the water and the and the fish and the way the red one in the lower side is leading into them, and they're all. Uh, the, the group of them is moving to the lower right, and then there's that one that's going back around. The it's, patterns uh, here remind me of Matisse. Uh, he had these arabesque uh, shapes, but the selection, the pattern on the colors, you know, the white is just really so lovely. It's like a picture you could look at for a long time, like in your bathroom or your kitchen. Very nice. Or in, in a sushi restaurant. 
Yeah, except you don't eat koi. I don't <laughs> think I've never seen that on the menu, but but I don't no, know. No, we don't eat koi. We don't make no. koi. Bottom <laughs> fish. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. Next photo is titled Melrose Balcony. Yeah. It's a fresh photo. Yep. You just it's took this this weekend? Yep. I love oh. that it looks like it's a painting. <clears throat> it's very stark. I like it. Thank you. Yeah, it's a good composition, good colors, nice colors. What did you do to get that texture? Uh, I played. You played. I, yeah. You know, um, with Topaz Adjust, there is, there's all these different filters. And one of them makes it kind of grainy. Uh-huh. But... You know, I didn't write down what I did, but I did that. I played with colors. I I have no idea what an abstract photograph should look like. So I just tried everything. I I liked the a, as soon as I saw it when I, you know, when we were there, I I took a couple of pictures, but when I took the, this is pretty much the way I took the picture without a, a no cropping and, and all, but it just had kind of a simple look, although it wasn't as simple as what this is. And I just played with it. It was fun. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, it's kind of like painting and you can use some a little bit noise adding. It's nice, very nice. And it's like that photography, what's it called? It's not simplistic, but it's uh, just real simple. Minimalism? Minimalism, there you go. Yeah. This is not minimalism, but it's a good picture. <laughs> Great picture. The it's color. a well balanced photo, yeah. Bill, you're gonna have to help me if this is yours. You're gonna have to help me with the title. I can't pronounce that word. Alaset rising with the meadow mist. Alaset, okay. Alaset no, is, is a uh, is a sprite, a wood sprite. Um, very ancient name that I just made up for this. <laughs> Nicely done. This is really cool. I thought it was an orchid. Gorgeous. Or a cow yeah. lily. Actually, I think it was part of a toy in the backyard in the grass. <laughs> yeah. One of the kids' toys. So I like the I'm where there was grass colors. involved. <laughs> <laughs> Some kind of mm. and, and mushrooms. <laughs> Bill, how do you do a picture like that? Uh, I get the uh, the shutter speed really slow, like uh, a second, maybe two, and then uh, I move the camera, open the, the shutter as I'm moving the camera until it closes. Grass and plants work really good with this. So do toys. Yeah. Uh, books are kind of interesting, also. Sounds like we need to do some practicing. Yeah, it's fun to practice. Um, you know, you know, you don't, you don't need to go anywhere. It's kind of the opposite of panning. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. But I do like the complementary colors. That's what works really well here. And then it's just so soft. Yeah. Thank you. And then next one, out of the cocoon. Oh God. <laughs> Photoshop. Not really. No. Not too much, actually. Um, I surprised myself. Um, I think it was one of our photo walks. Um, a lot of us went to, we were like in downtown LA, I think over by Angel's Flight. And oh. there was just some store and in the window had this uh, 
um, kind of mannequin in there. And, uh, and I, this might've been even from my mobile phone and it was just through the window, but there was a reflection. So there's like the building in the background and I don't know, it looked kind of cool. So I just, uh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> very nice. Very cool. Very yeah. Gothic. Good eye. Thanks. No brain, but good eye maybe. <laughs> You're right. And then we are on number 26, our final entry, Purple Rain. <laughs> Very nice. I love those colors. Look at that brilliance of that purple against that blue. Oh, wow. Very cool. Very, very cool. Yep, I like the blue inside these purple orbs, yeah. Okay, now we have to have the big reveal. What are we looking at? The car wash. The end part of the car wash. Oh, car wash? Oh. Another car wash. Through. Wow. No filters, no. Where'd the color no come from? I'm sorry? Where does this color come from? Uh, the sunlight going through the, uh, 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 what do you call it? <laughs> Plum, cell phone. Uh, from the cell phone, and it goes right on. Oh. Yeah, I hope that's not the surface of your car. <laughs> no, it was the windshield, and uh, the light was coming through, and it was blue. I'm like, wow. You can even see some faces in there. Yeah. yeah. No I do. I, I do, yeah. Cry. You got hurt. Well, I think our abstract tonight was better than what I've seen on the internet because there's a Facebook group that has abstract and I'm not impressed by their abstract like I was by ours. I agree. You know, Jay, I have to say, um, I, I, I really appreciate you giving us these kinds of um, assignments, so to speak, you know, because it, it stretches us, it, it, you know. Well, thank you for, thank you for that. Cause that's, that's, yeah, I, I find it's an exercise and it, it's helpful, isn't it? Yeah, you know, and it was helpful from... that you gave us some examples or, or things to look to so that we can understand and say, okay, let me go and try that because, you I'll know, that's that how we learn. As well. well, also it's, gets us out of our comfort zone. Uh, you give us a sign like this, we go out. Uh, some of us don't have the gas to go out to, or can't afford the gas to go out to Timbuktu. Uh, I, try to, I, I try to keep the special topics where you can backyard it. Yeah, and I think you're great. Or car and, wash it, depending. Yeah. yeah. And some of you, you know, come with your own bottle of Windex, so that's great too. <laughs> yeah, I think compared to those, I think we did pretty well. Yep. Yeah, exactly, right? And it was fun. It was fun. Like I said, it just, uh, like the other guy was saying just recently, you know, it, it maybe I'm always taking pictures of landscapes or something, and then so then. I know. Now I'm taking a picture of a window or something, you know, who knew? Mm -hmm. I like this one. That, uh, somebody in face, somebody, somebody on, on Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. yeah. And I was thinking we were gonna see one of these tonight. I really was, we're gonna see a, it's a very common abstract, light through a window. Yep. Well, I gotta tell you, I Googled abstract photography and I still have no clue. And I sent several pictures to two different actual artists. Okay, so a couple of good things to do when you're looking for an, an explanation of a particular special assignment or 500 pics is a really good website for that. So if you were to type in abstract here, you would get some ideas and that would take you a place. They happen to be very good examples of abstract. This one here, that one there is very much like yours. I mean, you nailed it. 
Well, hey, I got some announcement real quick. Please. Uh, well, speaking of abstraction, um, I just reconnect to the old uh, art gallery that I used to get my stuff listed there. And we actually have a show called Abstraction. Uh, will be, uh, reception will be July 9th in uh, Escondido. And you, if you really want to see a uh, different form of abstract, come on down. Come on down. Thank you. And I get a couple of uh, art pieces, uh, jewelry in to show. Oh, yeah. Type it into the chat for people to see. I I I would I want to try to find the um, the link to it and then uh, post in, it on uh, BBC. Okay, and then also uh, Helene, if not five hundred px. <clears throat> Dot com. There's this reliable one. Flickr. My goodness, I can't type. That's kids' poops. I don't know how that came up. <laughs> uh, Flickr. We, we know what you're thinking. <laughs> oh, Flickr. Flickr. No, you Flickr. were on DeviantArt, Jay. What? You were on DeviantArt. No, I'm kidding. So on, yeah, on Flickr, on the website there, I don't know why it's doing this. Because I'm live, that's all. Well, and abstract is, is a, a and wide, abstract. it's a wide open thing. Um, Very much so. Because when you take, um, when you, when you look at something and you focus on it, you're, leaving out everything else and so that's an abstract when you focus your eye on something that's an abstract when you when you take your camera and you take a five you know a seven by five uh micro four thirds camera and you uh you move it into a position you're abstracting from the rest of the world and so every picture is is really technically an abstract and then it just gets wilder from there. Yeah. Okay. No matter of what you're focusing in on. Yeah. Conveying, you're going conveying fast. to your audience. You're going fast, you. Jay. But if you go slow, there are some that, I mean, I would never have thought that they were abstract. They look like a piece of a building. Or that one there looks like a tree. I mean, it, it, what makes it abstract? What Boy just said. Abstract seems to intersect with a lot of other uh, categories of art, like zeroism or minimalism. That um, I don't, I, I, I never found it to be well defined. In reality, a working definition. Well, I think it was in Jay's post. Either it was in the newsletter or whatnot. Uh, how it had like three different areas anyway, like expressionism. Yeah abstract expressionism and and all those different things or or even yeah using macro as a as a way of doing it like some of you guys did with the flower and whatnot so i guess it's abstract topic huh abstract is uh distorting uh, in my opinion it's distorting the natch it's distorting a natural form to make it look um, out of the ordinary, so uh, using and using a uh, different like um, odd forms, not just like squares, triangles, regular forms like that. Using polygons, uh, you know, more elongated right. things, blurred. You know, you could the, the technical really doesn't matter in the abstract um as long as you have the the visual that you're aiming for and you uh execute it well you know technical you you, you could break the rules that way in abstract here's next month's topic right. minimalism 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 
Say real fast. We're looking at examples right now. That's what we're going to do. Minimum alumnism. Minimum alumnism. Aluminium. Oh, God. Minimalism of aluminum products. Manamana. No, minimalism. It's kind of ironic that minimalism is such a long word to describe something that is supposed to be as small as Bill, you're so deep. <laughs> Just no, like a he's being minimal. There's some very good examples here. It's kind of tough because um, I remember submitting one picture and they're like, not quite, you're getting there, you know? And, uh, so um, okay. it's not as easy as one would think, I think. Are we good with it? Is the majority here today good with minimalism? Yeah, oh, yeah sure. I'm good with it. I like it. I'm, Just I'm give excited. it a go. I'm excited to see what we're going to see. Well, you um, won't see much because it'll be very minimal. Very good. Oh. Very good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I actually like you a lot. You oh, that's cute with and you know. can start submitting photos next week. Please don't wait for the last minute. I just, it's not necessary. This that means we have cool. to shoot tonight. Yeah. That was really cool. You're going to get 10,000 pictures. <laughs> that hand nice. picture? Can you hear Jay go? Ah! Yeah. If you hear a long time at the next meeting, I'll have Bill do it. We'll be done in 40 minutes. That's right. Whenever I have a lot of photos, Bill's going to do the meeting. Bill wants to get paid. Oh, no. Oh, no? No, I mean, no, my cats. So we're good. Minimalism is going to be a good topic. I can see it now. Or can you? No, I can see it now, really. <laughs> yeah. So, Jay, is this is this the group of people that you would like to um, encourage further to participate in your offer to go shoot uh, music groups? Well, that would be great. Yeah, if there's or, people that are interested, that would be awesome. Because okay. I do have concerts. I have, what, 11 concerts, I believe it is. And I have volunteers for two. Only 11. Well, um, well actually, but, there's 15, but we're only talking Warner Center Park. If, uh, if you wanted, I could show some pictures that I took uh, at some of the different concerts that. Uh, that, that would be people. awesome. Would you do that? I'm going I'm to leave things rolling here. I'm gonna to go to your name on the chart and I'm gonna give you co-host capability and that should allow you to share. I'd love to see the photos that you're talking about. Okay, and uh, pay attention call, peeps. Call Bill if you have a problem. So, uh, oh yeah. Here's a young lady that was singing at- uh, Aviva. At, uh, yeah, and that haircut. Nice. Look at the motion blur in your drumsticks. That's great. And you, you get to be like right on stage. So I was like, you know, four feet away from him. And, uh, you know, as long as you're not in front of the musicians and like that, you can shoot from the sides. And uh, here I was in front. Uh, Kenny to the Yeah, Kenny Cetera from the Chicago. Uh, Lloyd, what were you shooting? What lens? Um, I was shooting with two lenses. I was shooting with a that um, one right there. I think this one was my forty to one fifty. Forty to one fifty. Yeah. You and, have a um, or four thirds. That's eighty by. I'm a micro four thirds kind of guy, and I was shooting at about a fifteenth of a second. That's where I Excellent. get the motion blur. Excellent. That's yeah, eighty to three hundred. The eyes are sharp. Yep. So that forget about the rest of it. His eyes are sharp. That's the picture. A long time ago, I shot the strawberry alarm clock. I yep. sat right in just front of him. Just saw him at the palace. I was deaf for about an hour after that. They put me right oh. in front of the speakers. 
Anybody, anybody that's, please listen. You do want to bring ear protection. I didn't bring ear protection last season. I won't shoot a concert without ear protection. So bring ear plugs or tissue paper rolled up. Here, yeah. here. I'm a, I'm a musician and I have uh, special ear, ear plugs that I use. Really seems funny, but uh, yeah, you need them. Yeah, the $10 ones that you buy on Amazon have a core that work like for musicians earplugs. You can hear everything beautifully. You just don't hear it at 120 dB. Yeah. That's a good picture right there. Yeah. Yeah. He was so good, wasn't he? Yeah. She had the shakes. Okay. Again, this is the, the slow shutter speed, but I wanted to, you know, I wanted to get the action and the emotion of her playing. She looks like one of the car wash photos. Yeah. Abstract. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that was the one that was looking in my It was on the windshield, just you know, <laughs> piping, piping things up with her guitar. Yeah, she was on that car. I took pictures of last week. Oh. I would love to come hear Led Zepp again, although um, I'm going to be gone. So that I'm, I just want to go and hear some of this music. But you guys are like almost two hours away from me. So that was. No, I know. I know. It's a tough one. Yeah. It's a tough one. I want to hear the Earth, Wind and Fire one also. Plus oh. that Led Zepp. Yeah, my, my wife booked that one. She wanted to hear it, too. There's another band. I have to look, but um, yeah, maybe maybe I'll have to make a special occasion visit, but you know, just to come and listen. Well, you well, know, what, as as a musician myself, um, I am able to like shoot and listen at the same time, and I mean, not, you know, like the Chicago and the and the guys that were doing. Uh, uh, just all, all, all of the different bands there, they're really good players. And you're like right there in the middle of it. And it's not like you're working, you're having fun. I mean, to me, I'm having a ball uh, and, and uh, singing right along with, uh, you know, right along with the uh, people that are there. So it's, it's a hell of a good time. I have, some right pictures of you. I have some pictures of you, Lloyd. You were very much enjoying the atmosphere. Can I uh, share a video I did of all the BTS? Sure. You guys don't mind? What's There's BTS? Behind the scenes. Oh, I'm sorry. This is what we call uh, concert photography. So I'm going to share. I'm going to share my screen uh, for I sound you and video. Me the music yeah. may be a bit obnoxious, but go ahead and just go with it or turn your speakers down. So can you see my share now? Lloyd's hitting the bottle again after this. Okay.
Right on, Jay. Your, your exposures are perfect. Are, are those all yours, those Jay? Lloyd's. A lot of those were Lloyd's. There are a few of Jason's in there. There are Adams were in there. But yeah. Great shots. Really Thank great you. shots. Thank I can't you. believe Listen, not to entice you, not that you need enticement. Um, let me stop the recording. Okay. Bye. Bye.